it takes about a year for you to actually understand what can happen because it might be a year before you completely reconcile your account and realize, my God, what happened to all this stuff? So in, 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 in you could call it six to 12 months, you start to learn all the different things that could go wrong and go right with your product. So I think getting somebody at the beginning um, is going to help you. It could be that you want them to help you forever. But at least you should get them for six to eight months to get you established on Amazon. And then, you know, when it comes to Shopify, there are other companies that help there too. But I think it's a little more straightforward. Um, You don't have the same race with Amazon. Once you start in the Amazon world, answer questions within a certain amount of time. You need to make sure that you're answering customers. If there's a logistics problem, you got to solve it immediately. So you don't really have time. Everything's on the meter. If you don't respond, Amazon is watching and you'll get some demerits and ultimately you'll get kicked off the platform. So you got to be a good citizen on Amazon and uh, comply with their rules. Mm-hmm. No, I, I worked or I was using Amazon about I don't know, three, four years ago and relatively quickly I, I made the decision to find someone helping me there. Um, as an entrepreneur, I stick to trying to understand the process as quick as possible and then find somebody who's better than me. But at least once I have the basics done myself, I can talk to somebody basically on eye level um, and they know that they can talk to me <laughs> on the same level. Um, now you're helping e-commerce merchants getting on Amazon and doing everything that we just talked about. How does that work? What's the onboarding process? What kind of timeline is it? Give me a bit so of So there's idea. Two, There's two different kinds of of, and we, we work with brands. So if a brand is reasonably new, there's a lot of heavy lifting that goes on because you have to create the content from scratch. You have to get the views. So the onboarding process takes a bit longer and getting it traffic could be expensive and take a while. I'm not saying you shouldn't do that because they do. there's about 2 million sellers on Amazon, but it's a process that you have to be patient with and it takes time. So the onboarding could be a bit of time because you have to share a lot of information back and forth. 